Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Obd Potato. Welcome back to Democracy 3. And at the end of last episode, things were starting to get a bit worrying. However, I uh, I think we should be alright if we stick to our guns and follow through on, on what we were intending to do. So we have 23 political capital, and now we, we need to... Uh, we need to do stuff that saves us money and that capitalists like. Unemployment benefit, can we sink that any lower? It's only going to save us a tiny bit of money. What about this? State housing. Cancel this policy. This would be a good one to cancel. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Middle income people are liking us a little bit more. That's what, that's what we like to see. Um bit worrying the fact that we're not very popular at all like 0.25 percent of people would actually vote for us that's not great how can we get GDP we need to boost GDP everything is linked to GDP can we sort out this rail strike labor laws we really don't want to do that we want to Increase productivity. Increase the working week. Yeah, let's 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 do that. Let's lower that as soon as we as soon as we can. Next turn when we have twenty political capital, that is that is going to be the top of the agenda thing to do. Okay, climate change protocol. Do not ratify. Crime is up. GDP is down. Come on. Okay, communist party. Communist Party are, are, are a bit worrying, actually. Not good. Um, intelligence services. Let's bump this up. In fact, no. Let's not. Let's not bump it up. Let's let's get rid of the the labor laws that are that are so restrictive to us at the moment. Okay. Um, pro employer. That's what we want. That'll take a chunk out of the rail strikes, hopefully. Rail subsidies, rail subsidies are sort of don't matter that much to capitalists. Um, why did I click there? I didn't mean to. Um, let's have a look at some graphs. Focus groups of capitalists. We want to see who hates us and who doesn't. Okay, what upsets them? William Kim resigned. Yeah, sorry about that. Uncompetitive economy, state health service, income tax, property tax, agriculture subsidies. Hmm. It is going up. Membership is still low. Ah, hmm. It's difficult. It's really difficult. Um, just thinking. What sh what should we do? What can we do, really? Agriculture subsidies. Can we cancel that? We can lower it, but that's not where we want to do. We want to cancel it, so let's do that when we have 24 political capital next turn. Hmm. Welfare. Yeah, we don't really want to do that. That'll upset the capitalists a little bit. Which is uh, not the best the best idea in the world. Small business grants. Yeah, we sort of want to do that, don't we? Yeah, let's do that and fully fund it. It'll help GDP out a little bit as well. Or help our GDP out a little bit as well. Um, Next turn. Anything that we really want? Trade union restrictions. That is... Uh, that's getting implemented if we have enough political capital. If we don't, then uh, then we're going to try and get rid of uh, agriculture subsidies. Ghettos. Goodness gracious me. Racial tension, vigilante mobs. Police force. We need to we need to bump up the money we're paying to the police. Hopefully. Hopefully that'll work. Credit rating downgraded. Uh, we only got upgraded a little while ago. Okay. 
We have 20 political capital, which means we don't have enough money to really do anything we want to. What about community policing? Can we can we introduce stuff like that? Law and order? Community policing? Yeah, let's implement that. Liberals like it. Takes a chunk out of pretty much everything. Yeah, let's do it. And it's cheap to implement as well. Hmm. Anything that we can do... Tax shelters. We don't have enough for trade union restrictions, unfortunately. Not great. Yeah. Tax shelters. Wealthy capitalists. It's going to make capitalists like us a lot. But it's going to really, uh, really take a hit in other areas. Okay. Witness protection program. Transport. Telecommuting initiative. Okay, let's 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 go over this. Okay. Gonna decrease car usage and it's gonna reduce the amount of commuters, but it's gonna make commuters happy, which is what we wanna see. So that's that's good. That's the sort of stuff we wanna see happen. This is decreasing, thankfully. Um labor laws are taking a taking a massive hit out of that. Poor earnings. Well, when we abolish income tax, then uh, we'll hopefully sort that. Immigration. Immigration is... Uh, let's look at border controls. Hmm. I don't really know. Don't really know what's best. Let's let's, uh, let's just progress to the next turn. See what happens. We do have that, you know, trump card of abolishing. I can't remember what it was. Was it income tax? General strike. Trade unions calling a general strike. Poor earnings, poverty. Hmm. GDP is down at its very very bottom. Don't really care who we appoint at the moment. We're in recession. That's why we have such poor earnings. Okay. We need to we need to find a way to boost earnings. Capitalists like us. That's the main thing. We're in that sort of good situation. Unemployment benefit. We can't cancel. We don't have the political capital to do it. Unfortunately. We do have property tax. No, we can't cancel property. Was it sales tax? Yeah. Sales tax. Everybody hates sales tax. So we're going to abolish it. Let's get rid of it. Our income is now basically super low. Military spending? Military spending is going to take a hit. But we don't really want to reduce it anymore because that'll increase unemployment due to the fact that we will be probably laying off some people. Which isn't a good place to be in. Uncompetitive economy. Thank goodness. We have got rid of that. Credit rating downgraded. That's not good. That means we're going to go towards paying more debt. Hmm. Crusaders of the Lord. Okay, okay. We need to we need to deal with a lot of things at the moment. Is this finished yet? Rail strike. Yeah, it's decreased, so hopefully next turn that should be at an end. Anti social behavior. That's coming down. Since we bumped up the money. That's coming down as well. This is going up. This is still here. Okay, not good. This should be coming down. Gambling. Hmm. Armed religious communities. What on earth is going on here? That's just crazy. Okay, capitalists like us. 
that's good what is not good is the fact that everybody else effectively hates us inheritance tax let's cancel this policy we have we have basically no tax can we increase the petrol tax clearly not decreases GDP that, that's not a good thing to, to muck around with actually hmm religious people do not like us the abortion law don't really hmm perhaps we should scale that back just a tad make it a bit more even just to sort of level the playing field a little bit I suppose general strike that's stopping next turn better anyway Okay, let's go ahead and see what happens next turn. Should be very interesting. Hopefully a lot of situations are going to come to end. Crusaders of the Lord. Okay, so we need to get on the good side of religious people. GDP is up, crime is down, poverty is up. Okay, GDP up is great. That's that's really, really good news. Anti-social behavior, vigilante mobs, general strike, rail strike, all at an end. However, our GDP shot up. That's great news. That's really, really good. Okay, so let's let's try and get religious people back on our side. Mm, religious people like school prayers. Um, what are we going to change? We we're going to change the abortion law, weren't we? Yeah, let's do that. It's not uh, not what I'd like to be doing, but creationism versus evolution. Yeah. Okay, so we want to just keep a mixed a mixed balance here, and hopefully that'll uh, that'll work. Faith school subsidies makes religious people like us and increases racial tension that's that's not good that's not what we want to see happen homelessness what's linked to homelessness private housing hmm okay homelessness how can we deal with that unemployment benefit this needs to go this absolutely needs to go. We're going to do that next turn. When we have enough political capital to do it. Is there anything else that we can implement to make people hate us a little less? Because now it becomes a a sort of get to the uh, get to the election and win it which is what matters really isn't it how many turns are we away from an election we're eight turns away from an election so I think we're gonna get there in the next episode actually oil supply oil price oil demand energy efficiency Oh, goodness gracious me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name's been Obito Potato. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, then please like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.